Alright guys, how you guys doing? Welcome to this kind of Christmas guide, even although it's a bit late. But nevertheless, it's still here and hopefully you're happy to see me on camera. I'm just going to give you a rundown of the things that I've used and the things that I can recommend. Not something that I've just seen on a website and saying, oh no, you know, this is good. These are things that I've personally used, touched, felt and thought, explosion. The first couple are by a company called 12 South and they specialise in everything Mac. Fantastic company, I met them at a recent event in London as well uh, and they do the backpack which is basically if you've got an iMac it's a shelf and you can put hard drives on it or you know whatever stuff on it so that there's no desk clutter so if you're like myself who's got two or three external drives instead of having them on, on the actual desk you can just hide them on the elevated shelf uh, on, the st on the stand of the iMac and it's pretty it's pretty nifty. They also do the book arc which is pretty nice for the MacBook, the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pros. I did have it in the past when I had my MacBook Pro and it was pretty slick, really nice design, aluminium uh, and you know that coupled with an external display so you just wanted to use your external display, close the lid of your MacBook, put it in that bad boy and I must say I do miss that setup. They also have the book book which is for the iPhone and the MacBook Air. Now I haven't got this myself, it's on my wish list per se, but I have touched it. Uh, I did kind of use it for a few minutes. It's kind of always been there, but they've kind of been sold out here in the UK. It is relatively easy to get one in the United States because it is a US based company, um, but try them out, you will not be disappointed. Something unique again for the MacBook Air, uh, for the iPhone, uh, have a wallet. Next up, this company needs no introduction, Kolkasak, formerly known as Applesack. This is one of the companies that I started off with, uh, with my YouTube stuff, uh, and I'm not putting them on this list because they were the first one to do it. They are, again, a unique company. All these things I'm mentioning here, uh, they are kind of stands out, they are comfortable. You know when you're paying for it, you're gonna get absolutely quality, nothing but quality. Again, likewise, they do stuff for your iPhone, your iPad, your MacBook. Slick cases, I've done reviews in the past and they should be showing up on your screen. Next up is this really cool device. If you're a gamer like myself, you would most probably want to have something like this if you have, you know, you have space restrictions. It basically allows you to use your PS3, your Xbox or your Blu-ray player to your iMac so you don't need to go out and buy a second display or a monitor or a TV. You can hook it up to your display. The only downside to it is that it's only going to work on these Macs. I'm not too sure why the company isn't supporting the newer iMacs uh, and you know the 21 and a half inch iMacs. It's a shame because this is a fantastic device. I did have it for my previous iMac and it worked an absolute treat. Next up is something fun. Helicopters, gadgets, if you want to impress someone or impress a chick at Starbucks or Costa Coffee. The people impressed people at Costa Coffee or is it just Starbucks? In any case, if you want to fly a helicopter uh, using your iPhone or your iDevice, the, these two helicopters are pretty nice. The first one is by iRomoco and the second one is by iHelicopter. The links are on the description or on the screen. Both work equally as good. Uh, the iHelicopter has some more kind of custom controls on it so you can put the lights on and off if you want to do so. Both are pretty much identical in terms of build quality, uh, features, ease of use, the UI of the actual application. Next up, more eye accessories by Otterbox. Again, a fantastic company. They're known for nothing but toughness and robustness. I've reviewed plenty of their series, the Defender series, the Commuter series, the Reflex series. My favourite ones are the Commuter and Reflex series and if I were to put them head to head, the Reflex would come out on top for me. I just like the simplicity, uh, you know, it looks pretty, it's minimal but you know, it's quite effective so if you do drop it, you are going to be pretty safe. Comes with the screen protectors and again, I would highly recommend them and I know a lot of you have bought them after I've done my reviews which should be on the screen again should you want to take a look. Next up, I do have to mention this company because they are totally cool. Zag, I have done plenty of invisible shield test. Basically, it's a shield for your any kind of device, whether it be your camera, your iPhone, your Blackberry HTC, your MacBook, your Sony Toshiba laptop, whatever, they do the full showing. Link is on the screen and I've done some pretty crazy tests. And what their unique thing about this company is, that it is quite robust, you can literally put a knife to your gadget and it's not going to scratch. It's pretty handy if you're using one of these MacBooks or your iPhone and you've maybe got kids around you or if you drop your phone, you know, at a 
fairly low weight, it's not shatter proof or anything. Um, but you know, if you've got keys in your pocket, coins in your pocket, and you're and you kind of sell your gadgets after every 12 months to get a new one, then it is going to kind of pay off for itself, you know. If you keep your gadgets for maybe three or four years, then there's no point in getting one. But if you're like myself, who kind of, you know, sells stuff on uh, once you've used them and then buy a new one, it's going to hold its value and it's going to pay off in the long run. Next up is this cool little audio device known as the X-Mini. I've had this for the past two years. It is fantastic. It is fairly cheap. I would recommend every single one of you watching right now go out and get one of these. Especially if you've got a MacBook Air or even an iDevice. You might be looking at this saying this is tiny. Not what she said by the way. The quality on this is pretty good and the base on it is nice and the fact that you can attach two, three, four of these side by side gives you a super awesome kind of setup, you know, mobile setup, or even heck, connect it to your iMac. You're not going to be disappointed, trust me, if you're looking at this thing, this is shabby, this is small, the sound's not going to be good. Think again, try one, if you don't like it, return it, but it's not going to come to that stage. Since, you know, this came out, there's been more versions of it, so I'm not too sure how good they are. But I'm sure if you look at, look up reviews for this, it's got many awards, so you really can't go wrong. Staying on audio, if you're looking to get some sort of headphones, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying, you know, expensive two, three, four hundred pound headphones. Go for the Sennheiser HD 202s. I bought a pair last December, last Christmas, and it is working out an absolute treat in terms of, you know, quality. You know, I've used the Beats by Dre and I've used the Sennheisers, and to be honest, I really can't tell much of a difference. I only paid like £20 for these Hennheisers. I think the prices have gone up like 5 or £10 since then or they've come down. But I would highly, highly recommend you, you know, looking at the Sennheiser range, either the HD201s or 202s. There's no point in going for the expensive one. And last but not least, I'd like to recommend iGear, which I may or may not run. But basically, it's a jacket for your iDevices. So here, I've got the new iGear 22 range, and you can put your iDevice, your iPod Touch, your HTC, your Blackberry, and use it right here. You know, it's raining and stuff, you don't want to take your phone out, just use it right within. 22 pockets, space for your MacBook Air, an iPad. Look at me trying to sell this damn thing. But uh, you won't be disappointed, I've just recently launched this, the vest has been quite popular as well, link is on the screen. And tell you what, seeing as all two of you have made it this far in the video, I'm going to give two vests away today in this video. All you're going to have to do is make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below saying iGear dash your size. And guys, I really would appreciate this, you don't have to do this centre, but it would be nice if you can go into the iGear website and click on the Twitter button and Facebook button and share it or like it. And you don't have to do it, but it would be pretty nice just to support it. The competition closes on this day. Yes, it's going to be shipping worldwide. So if you stay in Iraq, Japan, China, United States, Brazil, whatever, it's going to get shipped out to you. Two lucky winners. So do post a comment below. Be sure to like and you know share the Twitter and Facebook pages on the iGear website. Again, it's not a must, but it'd be nice if you can kind of support the website. But guys, that is it for this video. I hope it's been useful. I hope the recommendations that I've made turned out to be useful. Heck, you may already have them. In which case, if you do, leave a comment below as to whether you're liking the product. So other people watching this thinking, should I get this? Someone already in the comments could back me up or totally slam me perhaps. Hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas, get all the goodies that you want and some of you may be getting eye accessories, some of you may be getting new bad boys like this. In any case, all the best, cheers!